Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooks Beauty Bazaar. My name is Brooke and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my favorite products by The Ordinary that also happen to be fungal acne safe. Roll the footage. If you are not familiar, The Ordinary is the most affordable brand offered by parent company Desi M, which you may also know as the Abnormal Beauty Company. There are a lot of great things to say about The Ordinary, but I feel like these two statements from their website sum it up the best. The Ordinary is clinical formulations with integrity. It exists to communicate with integrity and bring to market effective, more familiar technologies at honorable prices. In other words, this brand offers great technology at great prices, but as an FYI, the catch is the formulations tend to be a lot more simple and pared down. For example, the Hyaluronic Acid MB5 serum that they offer is a great part of a moisturizing routine, but it's not gonna be the whole picture. So if you bought a moisturizer that contained those ingredients from another brand, but also had lots of other good stuff in it, you would pay the higher price for that, and that's how The Ordinary keeps their good technology at a low price. As it happens, this is actually a benefit to those of us who suffer from fungal acne because we tend to need to cherry pick ingredients so that we can create a formula that actually works for our skin type. By the way, if you are watching this and you have no idea what fungal acne is, I'm going to link my video where I explain it to you right now because I talk a lot about it on this channel. Make sure you guys stick around till the end because I am going to share how I incorporate all of these into my routine on a regular basis. Let's do this. I had the pleasure of shopping at a Desiem store in New York City a couple of years ago. That was my first real experience with The Ordinary, and as it turns out, those products I bought are still ones that I use to this day. The first product should come as no surprise to any of you who have been around here for a long time because it's actually hard to find a video of me where I don't mention this. So I'm gonna give you guys like three seconds to go and type what you think it is in the comment section below, and I will wait for you. Did you guys guess the hyaluronic acid and B5 serum, AKA my favorite stuff in the world that I hype all the time at you? Well done if you did. So this is what you actually need to know about this product. This product is classified as a humectant, which means that it helps your skin to retain and preserve moisture, AKA it just helps you prevent moisture loss in your skin. Hyaluronic acid molecules actually come in a variety of different weights, and this formula happens to utilize three to four different weights so that it can achieve multi-depth hydration. It's important to remember that all hyaluronic acid molecules are actually too large to be absorbed into our skin, so hyaluronic acid really serves and works with the surface layer of our skin. Because this product actually works to pull moisture from the air and hold it against your skin, it is going to help you achieve plump, glowy, youthful looking skin with a decreased appearance of fine lines. I'm gonna link my Dewy Skin makeup tutorial for you guys because you can see this little puppy in action and literally watch how my skin gets more and more plump looking after I use it in conjunction with my purified spritzing water. Product two is the Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. This is a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. The vitamin in this case is the Niacinamide, which is vitamin B3, and the Zinc is your mineral. Together, these ingredients help to reduce the appearance of enlarged pores, uneven skin tone, fine lines, dullness, and weakened skin surface. I want to be clear that this is not actually an acne or spot treatment. Instead, this stuff really works to revitalize and heal your skin post-acne. I regularly use this because this is one of those products that I have seen such an impact from. I have had acne for so long in my life, and I'm sure you guys can relate when I say my pores are in no way, shape, or form small and refined. They are always enlarged, and really there's not a lot you can do about your pore size, but keeping your pores really clear and free of congestion actually does do a lot towards their appearance, and this product is the one that helps me do that. I even theorize that that's why my skin tolerates the CeraVe moisturizing cream so well. Even though that's a body cream and it's very rich, I can use it on my face all the time because this kind of will help with any congestion that it might cause. 
And one final note on this is that if you are using a vitamin C in your routine regularly, do not use it in conjunction with niacinamide because it will compromise the integrity of the vitamin C. Therefore, if you want to use both, just use, I would recommend vitamin C in the morning under your sunscreen and niacinamide at night while you're sleeping. The third product is the resveratrol 3% plus ferulic acid 3%. I say both of those words so weird and so much different than the first time that I pronounced them. However, this is a high potency antioxidant. Now antioxidants are really good for your skin and they work to fight against the environmental stressors and UV damage, things like that. Specifically in this formulation, the ferulic acid is going to boost the effectiveness of other antioxidant ingredients. It reduces the formation of fine line spots and wrinkles. And I've even seen a lot of evidence that it is anti-inflammatory. So a lot of people say that it's good for people suffering from acne for that reason. Resveratrol is going to fight the signs of aging, protect your skin, and it'll also help to improve your skin's appearance. So think smoother texture to your skin and reduced redness. So on The Ordinary's website, they mention using this in conjunction with one of their vitamin C suspensions. I personally do not have any of their vitamin C suspensions, so that's not usually how I use it. I had started just using it alone, and then I have experimented with a different type of vitamin C, and I'm probably going to make a whole video on that. But in the meantime, I just wanna point out, this product is not gonna be one for those of you who are still in the process of clearing your fungal acne or your acne in any way. This is gonna be for you who have gotten past that acne, you have a good system in place, and you're trying to get more into that anti-aging range. So if you are looking for something like that, highly recommend. Otherwise, you might just wanna skip this one for the time being. So we are on to exfoliation, and now, before we get into it, would be the perfect time for you guys to go and smash the like button for me, and also to go ahead and leave any questions that you guys have about the first three products that I've mentioned, and I can get to answering those. And now we're gonna move forward on to the lactic acid 5% plus hyaluronic acid or the lactic acid 10% plus HA. Now I have a brand new one of these here. It's got this kind of like light orangey color to it. So it's a little more interesting to look at for sure. And if you guys don't know, lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid, which helps with chemical exfoliation on your skin. So as opposed to you taking a scrub or a washcloth and scrubbing vigorously at your face to remove the dead skin cells, this stuff does that chemically, no actual physical anything needed. By the way, I wanted to tell you guys right now, I really do prefer chemical exfoliation and it's just because any manual exfoliation that you do and the products designed to do that tend to be really harsh on your skin and actually can cause you a lot more harm. So at most, I just take a washcloth and gently rub it over my skin surface, but I don't do any harsh tugging at the skin during that moment. And I do that every single day. Now, AHAs can definitely be very irritating to your skin. So the trick here is to start with a lower formulation or concentration. The 5% is the one I recommend and work your way into that. And definitely don't do it every single day, maybe once a week to start and then move your way up to two to three times a week. They do mention the use of the Tasmanian pepperberry derivative in this product to help reduce the, the irritation factor and take and do with that what you will. Um, I still think this can be pretty harsh if you're not used to exfoliation this way. That being said, do not use this product on any compromised skin. What is compromised skin? It is any skin that has cuts, open wounds, eczema, and the like. Anything that is not normal skin texture, you don't really want to put this on too because you can and you definitely will give yourself a chemical burn. So just be very careful with this. Otherwise, I think this is a really great thing to have in your routine. So I am all about some good chemical exfoliation and I love lactic acid, but one of my favorite acids is actually glycolic. And enter this next product that is not fully fungal acne safe. It actually has the presence of one ester, which is polysorbate 20. But I wanna mention this because it is a very hyped product and I need to give you my two cents. This red beauty is the AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. It is a chemical exfoliating mask. So when you use this product, you are going to be experiencing peeling of your skin. 
Did you guys ever watch True Blood? Because it kind of looks like the blood that the vampires drank in that show. Thumbs up if you know what I'm talking about. The 30% AHA in this has glycolic and a multitude of other AHAs combined. And then the 2% BHA is actually salicylic acid in this case. This product is one that I want 99.9% .9 of you to steer clear of. The red should be a red flag to you because this stuff is for experienced chemical exfoliators only and The Ordinary is backing me up on their website with that information. This stuff can go wrong really, really fast. Case in point, I would consider myself a pretty regular chemical exfoliator and I used this one time when I had my lip rash problem going on and even though I avoided the area where my lip rash was, I left this on for six minutes and when I washed it away, it must have come in contact to it because all I know is the next morning I had a severe chemical burn all over my lips and the rest of my skin was kind of irritated as well. So for the 0.1% of you that decide to use this product and give it a go, I would recommend only leaving this on for three minutes to start with and then work your way up eventually to that 10 minute mark. But even on the bottle, up to 10 minutes is the maximum amount of time you wanna leave this on. The reason why I would say the 0.1% of you who might suffer from fungal acne as well can use this product is because it does have that polysorbate 20 in it, which is an ester, but because it has the presence of the BHA salicylic acid, that salicylic acid will work against the ester and can kind of be an antifungal and maybe kind of cancel each other out, leaving the benefit of that 30% AHA to do all the good things to your skin. I'm not saying this is a guarantee that you can use it if you have fungal acne. I'm just saying it's something that you could potentially use if you feel okay about it. Now for the fun part, how do we incorporate each of these items into our routine? Let me enlighten you guys. As you may know, the hyaluronic acid um, and B5 serum, I use this twice a day, every single day as part of my moisturizing routine. I spritz my face with water, put a couple drops of this over it, and then I lock it all in with a good moisturizer on top. It gives the most amazing results. Second up, the niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. You can use this every single day if you choose to. It's totally mild enough for that. I use it probably at least three times a week, maybe sometimes five. It just really does depend on the moment. But again, if I had some active pimples that I needed to clear up, I would use something else. But in the meantime, when my skin is clear and I just wanna make sure I don't have too much congestion going on, this is my go-to. I usually use this at night right before doing my moisturizing routine. The resveratrol 3% plus ferulic acid 3%, I would use this in conjunction with whatever vitamin C I was using at the moment. And for the most part, I use vitamin C in the morning time underneath my sunscreen. Always put your sunscreen on because you don't wanna cause any irritation. And also, you could use this diluted into squalane oil or a safe fungal acne oil at night if you wanted to, to just kind of make everything more effective for you. Lactic acid 5% plus AHA, I actually have the 10% one here. However, I'm experienced and I would use this about two to three times a week just as you feel like you need it for exfoliation purposes, but definitely if you're new to chemical exfoliation, work your way up one time a week and then go from there. And just as an FYI, this would go right after your cleanser. All right, and this peeling solution, even for the most experienced of users, this is something that you only wanna use once a month. It's just not gonna be one of those frequent items, so use sparingly and be responsible. All of these products are available to shop in the bar below, as well as on brooksbeautybazaar.com. You can access them by clicking shop at the top. And make sure you guys come and say hello to me over on Instagram at Brooks Beauty Bazaar because I am over there every single day. This is a high strength mineral and uh, vitamin visibly improve the appearance of enlarged pores. Of enlarged, okay. I don't know, this one is a weird one to say. Probably use it in the daytime. I've Okay, I've used this on my own. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say. Okay, hold on, <laughs> I think I got it now, okay. okay. I have like no time left. GG, that's the end. We did it.